So if you weren't here for the last episode, I don't even remember. We went through the sewer. We met Jorge. I think that was his name. And we kind of went through a city and then we're in the building and we went in the server room. We murdered a lot of people. That's all I remember. And now we're after that big dude that we met in the beginning of the game. And I think we're about to fight him. So let's just get into it. Ryzen, get Do not lose him this time. Do not lose him this time. Oh, he's going to get the big crunch combo. So you remember the last time when um, my mini map wasn't showing up? Fuck yeah. I'm going to hop up this shit. Oh yeah, rooftop fight. What was over here? Why is there that one random dude? What if we jump down there? I want to kill him. No, I guess we can. All right. Oh, what's over here? Oh, uh, rain fight. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. We're fighting in the rain. How's this, Jack? We can play up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Why does your character, like, he goes from talking normal and then sometimes he talks like this? Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is going to take some time. Slow and painful. Uh, you gotta get in some helicopters. Oh, shit! Like I said, kids are cool, Jack. And I'm very in touch with my inner child. Okay. You can be cooler than that, Jack. Yeah. Why? Mash the Y. Explosive armor. Drive it. Keep your blade away from that shield. Your body should analyze it for you. Show you where to attack so it does not detonate. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his gun. <laughs> That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, KFC combo. Okay, we're gonna give him the good old zinger combo. No, I don't understand. Yeah, okay. This is the weird boss. How do you downward slash? All right, well, guess what? Oh, I only got one of those. Okay, well, I only use that thing. 
Give him the family combo. Oh yeah, you get the family combo, dude. I don't know how to downward slash. What the fuck do you mean left analog? That's how, that's how you like control your character. That's not how you downward slash. You can only slash with square or triangle. Right analog just controls your camera as well. Okay, so when you're in L2 and then... Okay. Great, now I've used... All right, you're done. Okay, we got it now. All right, all right. Okay, parry. Yeah, the control is stupid. See? Oh. This play is frustrating. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> what are you supposed to do, dude? Like, honestly, like, it's like, oh, swipe there, and then it breaks his posture. Okay, so there's nowhere I can hit him. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this gimmick. It's kind of dumb. See, like I, I did the. Uh. No, see, like it's like slightly off. Yeah. 
finger on me! Why are you so? What are you supposed to do? This game is making me angry. See so right here, okay? So. Gotta be vertical. No, that's not what I wanted. And then here, okay. No, I want to be this way. No, too slow. Okay, so no, I want to be this way there Okay, and then what? Okay, it wants to be vertical no I, the controls are so fucked Is he dead? There we go. That was a frustrating boss fight. That wasn't nearly as satisfying as I wanted it to be. Come on, ninja run on the sh on the missiles, dude. You've done that before. No KFC combos were given out, exactly. Nice. Nice. I, I steered right into that. Oh, yeah. My years of plat. Oh, no, never mind. I was thinking my years of platforming have trained me for this. It's kind of hard to see. And the building is not that big. Yeah, 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 buzz up, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like those challenges are bullshit because it's not really clear what to do. And instead of fighting the boss the way that you want to fight them, you have to do bullshit. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ugh! Big crunch combo! <laughs> nice. C rank, my true rank, everybody. My true rank. What? I don't care. Right here, I've taken martial arts. No, it doesn't. 
Dark Souls 100% doesn't do that. Like, there are certain things. There's only one boss in Dark Souls 3 where you have to do that, and that's the Ancient Wyvern boss, where you have to go up and then you jump off an edge and then you do a downward spike onto it, and that's the only way to kill it. You can kill it with bullshit ways and just chip away at its health. But, like, all other Dark Souls so bosses, you can fight them the way that you want to. Soil. That is completely not PMC, true. And then with Freeway calling me. It gave me overall C rank. Brutal. All right, let's go. Oh, we get his weapon too. Yeah, but I'm saving up for that two hundred thousand dollar sword. Yeah, this one. Oh, I've almost got enough money. Yeah, so you can either get that. These are these, which I'm not going to use. The Last of Us? Isn't that so fucking funny that the PC port is so terrible? It is Okay, it makes me laugh that The Last of Us, like... Hugely successful, um, Sony are Naughty Dog, super, super duper successful. Like the game go, prints money, Excellent. the show has done really well. Yet they hired a, the cheapest, the cheapest PC porting company to port over The Last of Us Part One to the PC, and they did it so haphazardly and you know, shitty, and it launched in such a garbage state, and it was already delayed. So and people the whole time still just be like, hmm, not a cash grab. It wasn't a cash grab. It totally was a fucking cash grab. The entire fucking time. That just shows you what they think of their player base. They're like, fuck you. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And now that it's getting bad press, they're like, oh, better, better come up with some fixes for it. Is it? Who else? The and then what makes me sick is like all the PlayStation friends. keeps being like, <laughs> hmm, get a PS5 and you won't have all those shader issues and crashing issues. This and it's like, that's not the up. point. That's a disgusting business practice to port your game over to is another platform the and then just have it done in the most shitty fashion uh. possible. Like people are like celebrating that it's like such a shitty PC port. And it's like, that's not cool, dude. Like, you can be a fan of your favorite console, but like, fucking promoting that a game that you like is released in the shittiest form on another platform is like gross. It's not about console wars, it's about gamers being consumers and getting fucked and you're celebrating that you're celebrating a multi-million dollar corporation profiting off of fucking you there it is and you were happy to do so all right bring the chopper around yeah i saw that that's what makes me feel like it's gross it's just like that's ridiculous And I feel the same way about anybody. Like the people, like the PC gamers that like shit on console players, or like the PC, or like the PlayStation players that shit on Xbox players. It's just like we're all gamers at the in the end of it. And this is like I don't know. It's just a really shitty business practice that we're applauding. And we're like, <laughs> should have bought a PS5. 
It's like if somebody wanted a PS5, they would have gotten one when they came out. And it's like if they their PC okay, is their chosen this is place to play now. games, and then they were like, oh, this game that was popular on PlayStation, and I really like the HBO show, is coming over to PC, I'm gonna buy it. And then they buy it, and it's like the most dog shit experience ever. And then instead of people being like, yeah, that's really fucked up, how they charged you full price, knowing that the game was dog shit, and didn't even test it. And people are like, ha, huh, that's what you get for having a PC. I think that's the dumbest fucking, I don't know. It's really stupid. friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Raiden's not dead. <laughs> it will release when it's ready. But after seeing so many PC gamers go off about better hardware and FPS, I find it funny. Well, you're part of the problem then. That's a, like a really shitty take to have. It's like, yeah, there, there are those PC players who are pieces of shit and like who make fun of like nintendo for having the hardware that it has and those people do suck but like i don't know like applauding a company for just releasing a really garbage product and and like profiting from it is not cool is really not cool oh i hit i hit those two buttons what the, there we go no i hit those two buttons <laughs> I forget how to go. There we go. I was like, how do you go into Jack the Ripper mode? Raiden. I can you just and what? get out of uh, Yeah. Guess I'll just a lot of but if you I know. I know. All right. Fucking big crunch combos coming down. Wow, I've never seen that combo before. Can you go Jack the Ripper mode when you're... No, you have to be full bars, hey? That's kind of stupid. Mr. Combo! <sighs> nice. Like, I had no 
I had no intentions on ever buying The Last of Us Part 1 because I think I just knew from the get-go it was a cash grab. It was a bullshit cash grab and I did not agree with it, but I still think that is super shitty that even though knowing that it was a cash grab to see him doing that cash grab behavior, I like I'm still just like, dude, that is just garbage. That is so garbage that we allow that to happen. Allow that to happen as consumers. Yeah, <laughs> give him his receipts. Done. You're done. Like people like will just like praise this behavior, and I don't like. I don't know. Like it just it makes me not like the gaming audience because. So many people will just like applaud this because it forwards their agenda to whatever they're thinking. So like, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, huh, I laughed at them because they made me feel shitty earlier with all of their comments about FPS and how much greater their PC gaming experience was versus whatever my experience was. So now they're getting a taste of their own medicine. So ha ha. And it's like, yeah, there is that point to a certain degree. And it's like, yeah, there's shitty people out there who just like brag, 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 brag. And it's like, yeah, none of us like hearing that and we just want them to shut up. But there's the bigger picture of everything. And the bigger picture is us as gaming consumers are getting fucked by these multi-million dollar corporations who would literally unplug the power from the life support connected to your dying parent if they could save them a few extra bucks. So they don't give a shit about you. They will never give a shit about you. They're not coming to your birthday party. They're not sending you a Christmas gift. They're taking every last bit of money out of your fucking pocket to profit. And they're delivering you a subpar fucking product that barely works and they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. And that's the problem. And it's like, well, how do we combat that? How do we do something ab about that? Other than just like being told that what we're doing is bad. Well, you don't buy these fucking products. Like you don't buy The Last of Us Part 1 because it's already for free on the PlayStation experience from The Last of Us Remastered that came out on PS4. You don't buy Part 1 because it's the same game. Even if you're a big fan of the series, you look at yourself and you go, no, that's a bullshit product. That's a cash grab. I'm not supporting that. But no, a ton of people fucking bought The Last of Us Part 1 because if they didn't, in their eyes, it would show weakness against them being a proponent of their brand, which is PlayStation. So if they did not buy The Last of Us Remake, that would equal them not being a fan of PlayStation. And that's just not the case. You can be a fan of your favorite platform and still say like, hey, I really like this game. I like the story, but I just don't feel like buying it again is the best thing to, to do. And I don't think we should be encouraging that. Like, making up excuses for these developers, like, it's ridiculous. Like, people are like, yeah, it's different teams working on factions or the multiplayer Last of Us Part 2. It's like, no, it's not. They literally stripped that team of everybody that was working on that game to go focus on The Last of Us Part 1 so they could release it in time to promote the TV show. Because if the TV show didn't do well, then... Uh, Neil Druckmann or whoever is the director of The Last of Us would not have a successful career in the TV business and he would not be able to continue to make HBO shows. So he really wanted that to be successful. So he put all resources. Again, I'm... I'm... I'm speculating because I don't have insider information. But just going by like the evidence that we see, like they clearly took away all resources 
so they could make sure that that show was successful, which it was, and um, pretty much all development on The Last of Us Part Two Factions went on halt. Like, was pretty much turned off. Like, to show me a game that is built on the same engine as The Last of Us Part Two, which was finished in 2019, to tell me that the multiplayer game, even if you added a ton of shit after three years, only has concept art to show, that is bullshit. Complete bullshit. Raiden, I will join you in Pakistan. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. Everyone's like all quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I shit on The Last of Us. I don't care. And everyone's like, you're just biased because you're a From Software fanboy. And it's like, yeah, but From Software so far hasn't done anything scummy. The only thing kind of scummy, which I, I don't even think it's really scummy, but it's unfortunate, is that if anyone watched the Digital Foundry recent video, it's part of their, po oh, they made a video about it, but they talked about it in their podcast as well. But, um, so recently, Elden Ring released an update, the 1.9 update, and in that update uh, was ray tracing, which was added. And it's like, cool, like a year's gone by, they added ray tracing to the game. Um, but here's the thing though, uh, the game on PC still has issues with optimization. Like the game still randomly stutters for no good reason. Like on my hot gamer girl PC, like, I don't know, like it will stutter still for no, and it's not dependent on um, resolution or anything. Like it'll just stutter. And it's because the game's not optimized for PC that well. And I think especially after selling over 20 million copies, like you should have a lot more development into your PC port to make it run better. And that is kind of bullshit. At first I could excuse it because they're a small developer and they probably don't have that big of a team. But now that they have like all of this revenue, I definitely think that they should be spending that on making the PC version better. Like, the fact that it still stutters after this much time is complete trash. How come this won't open? It says I'm supposed to, like, go out there. How do you do that? There you go. Yeah, factions is the real game. You have escaped the pursuit? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the but yeah, people think I won't like comment on Elden Ring's flaws and I will. Like absolutely, I think the PC version has flaws. 
and could be better. That should do nicely. But I've said it before, like, if From Software release, like, uh, before Elden Ring was supposed to came, come out, like, if they released a Dark Souls 3 uh, remaster and charged full price for it, and, like, all they did was, like, upgrade the visuals a little bit, I'd be like, where the fuck is Elden Ring, dude? Did he get enough money? No. No! No! No, Jamie! What is this? Yeah, they just re like Dark Souls 3 did not did come out with a bad PC port launch. It's been updated, but I remember that. Everything okay on your side? Yeah, they released it with, without the PC. All of the Souls games have bad PC Good. ports, but again, that was forgivable because From Software is a tiny there. company. Before Elden Ring, even with the like the success of Sekiro, From Software is a small company, and they don't have that many resources. So they don't have like dedicated teams that can devote themselves to the PC port. So that's why their PC ports are always terrible and they've gradually gotten better. But now a year later, the fact that Elden Ring has sold so many copies, they should have the resources now. They don't have that. Uh, they don't have that excuse anymore. Size matters, yeah. Yeah. Swordmaster, again, heart to heart. you're not making a good point. Was a tiny company up until a year ago. One year, 365 days, a little bit more. Fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. So they were still a small company in 2019 when Sekiro came out. They were a very small company in 2016 when Dark Souls 3 came out. Well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer. Even still, you're, not you're still you're still operating in wrong town. Like you're still you're. I don't know what point you're trying to make, but it's invalidated. Any point you're trying to make to me right now is invalidated. Like if you're trying to be like, oh, they're not a big, they're not a small company anymore. Okay, since when? A little like you want to get into semantics with me? A little over 365 days ago, whatever February 25th was, however many days ago that was. Add that plus to 365. History That's how long From Software has been slightly more than a small company. End of story. With the success of Elden Ring. When was the last, what was the last game before Elden Ring that was released? Sekiro in 2019. All of that money went into going, went into building Elden Ring. Still a small dev. What do you mean? No, a bit longer than that. Define yourself. What point are you I trying to make? Who thinks I'm right? And I've got cause enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Are we finally yes. gonna fight this dude? I like that. Must yeah, they became less small, but still, like Dark Souls 3, even with how big it was for From Software at the time, it was Don't like a lot of their games were still make or break the entire company. Yeah, I am absolutely right. This You're not a total idiot, but just let it sink in. You're not making a point that is relevant to anything. That's all I'm trying to tell you. And it ends here. Okay. Let's dance. Well, if you want to play victim, you can go ahead and do that, but I'm not going to Finally, we can fight this dude. Okay. Combo.
There we go. There we go. Go ahead. Ask me questions. For me, the whole point of my conversation was what Naughty Dog did was not cool. It was not cool for the gaming for the gaming environment at all. And I don't and I don't support those types of business practices. And that is why I support a company like From Software. And that's why I continue to buy their games because they don't engage in shitty business practices like that. But that does not mean they are without flaw. And the point that I was making is that with the success of Elden Ring, there should be a lot more development and a lot more um, effort being put into their PC version of the game. And even the console version of the game because they don't run perfect either. Oh, I'm trying to parry all these. Nice. Let me take a look. Define small and big in terms of dev teams in 2020. I hate that ND has, Naughty Dog has released a trash port. And I remember Jimmy never defended the PC port of Elder Ring on release, etc. That's not true though. Um, one of my biggest videos was Elden Ring looks bad. And I was kind of like, like, dude, like Elden Ring has some issues day one, but also from software has always had trash PC ports and I'm sure they'll fix a lot of the major issues within the day one patch. And that wasn't true. So I was defending it. And to this day, it is a lot better. It's not nearly as bad as when the game first launched. It is a lot better, but it's still not perfect which I think is unacceptable when you've gotten that much money. Uh, a small team, in my opinion, is a developer that uh, still heavily relies on the success of each game to continue on making more games. So for me, From Software operated on a level where when they were making Bloodborne, they needed Sony to partner with them to release Bloodborne. They needed that partnership to be able to afford to release that game. Even with the success of Dark Souls 1 and then Dark Souls 2 was not as big of a deal and kind of flopped. And they probably lost a ton of money during that game. So they needed that partnership with Sony. And when the DLC for Bloodborne came out in late 2015, there was like a week or so where you could like use an exploit and get the DLC for free. And that one week of people getting the DLC for free almost bankrupted from software. That one week, let me say that again, that one week of people using a, an exploit to get the Bloodborne DLC for free almost bankrupted from software from ceasing to exist ever making a game ever again that was quickly fixed then from software released dark souls 3 and all of those games they've released with bandai namco and bandai namco probably has a deal with from software where they probably don't take a huge cut of the profits but they probably still take some and even with dark souls 3's success uh from software was not able to go directly into like pushing out Elden Ring when they wanted to, they had to make another deal. And then they partnered with Activision to make Sekiro. And Activision was going through some shit at the time and wanted to make good face with PR. So they were like, hey, From Software, make a game with us. We'll throw as much money as you want at you. And From Software took that money. Yeah, they made Sekiro, they made a good game but they used all of that money and funneled it into making Elden Ring. And if Elden Ring did not release to the success that it had, I bet you if Elden Ring sold less than 5 million copies, From Software would like fucking be in the tank. Like they would probably not have enough money to go on. Yeah, that is a small team, 349. They're not a big developer. And Naughty Dog is fucking huge. Naughty Dog is massive. And a lot of people that compare From Software to these huge games 
Naughty Dog, Sony Santa Monica. A lot of these games are backed by Sony and have lots and lots of money pumped into them. Even Blue Point, when they made the Demon Souls remake, had a ton of fucking money pumped into them because Sony was like, yo, we want this game to look perfect and it better be at PS5 launch. So they made sure that that game was successful. Uh, for God of War Ragnarok to release on time, they pulled assets from, uh, they pulled resources from their different assets. They got people from Blue Point to go in and chip in and help out. Like they have a lot of money behind them. So when they have shitty releases like this or releases that um, are half baked, half cooked, like obviously if they wanted to do things right, the reason why Naughty Dog went with the cheapest PC port company is because um, the company that Sony already owns, I forget the name of them already. Uh, I think it's like Pixie or something. Sony owns a PC porting company. They were already busy with another project. So if Naughty Dog and Sony wanted to do things the right way, they would have waited or they would have like scheduled it so that game was ported by their own in-house studio. But they wanted that money. They wanted that quick buck. So they fucking just like, no, let's not hire the best or like another third party contractor that would do a really good job. Let's get the cheapest deal that we can get. And that is a shitty practice. That is a shitty practice. And people are talking about, what about the 2018 Dark Souls remaster? That's just like a shitty facelift and they charge full pop for that game. I don't think they charge full pop. I think it was all, always like 49 bucks. It was not like the price of a full game, but still they charged money for that game. It wasn't just like a $20 or $10 upgrade. Again, because from software, partners with Bandai Namco, that was a decision by Bandai Namco. And they probably made that deal with Bandai Namco, like, hey, you can remaster Dark Souls, you can put it on the Switch, you can do all this shit with it, you can make the Dark Souls trilogy uh, game that you release out there. You could do all those things, and then that way when we release Elden Ring, we get 5% more of the profits. And people, and then there's deals like that that go on. But again, did the Dark Souls remaster port release like really shitty? No, it was what it was supposed to be, but people were making fun of it because it was just like a lot of the stuff that the community had already done via mods. Show me a good time, Jack. Oh, I didn't block that. I'm trying to like parry. Isn't that parrying when I deflect like that? See, okay, so when I don't do anything, he does that. No, okay.
I don't know how you can get it anymore. Like, if you don't do that, you that happens or that happens. But when I deflect, like, it snaps him away. don't understand. Jump over him. Circle does nothing. Maybe I misjudged. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. We're fucking looking up how to do this fight. Okay, so that was a crock of shit. That's such a crock of shit because it made you made me feel like <laughs> you're like, oh, you're gonna do it at just the right time. No, you don't. You literally just like this is all you're supposed to do, and then just run up and attack them.
literally all you're supposed to do. <laughs> we broke the game. Get ready. Oh. Come on, do that shit again. There we go. Got him. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Here's your coleslaw, bitch. Mm. No, <laughs> no refund. <laughs> I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. So dumb. Human Did you need to kill him? Yeah, he was trying to kill you. And societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. I love how this game's trying to go deep. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. Nice. T seven high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Right, we have left.
less than one hour. Hurry! Roger that. <laughs> Just starts running. C class. Man, I'm getting some shitty ranks in this. <laughs> Brutal. Do I have enough for the sword yet? Dude, I have even less. I haven't even been unlocking the skills because I don't even care. So, okay, here's my complaint with these boss fights is there's these elements that you're supposed to adhere to. So in the previous boss fight, it was like, my shield is explosive. Don't hit my shield because it explodes. But then he would close his shield. Ooh, that pizza looks great. And then there was certain spots that you could swipe. Then you would swipe the spot that you're supposed to on the shield. Then nothing would happen. Like he would like slowly kind of like open up. But then if you hit him again, the rest of the shield would explode. And from my thinking, I was like, okay, are you like supposed to aim away from the shield that's going to explode and like the pieces that he had spread out? It's not very clear. And then same with this last boss. It was like, okay, he lost his sword, so he's gonna do these special attacks and you need to parry them, but you would parry them and nothing would happen. And you would think like after three parries, he would go into like an open state where you could just slash the shit out of him, but that didn't happen. And I was like, oh, am I doing something wrong? And then when you guys are like, yeah, you're supposed to parry at just the right time, which was not true. So when I looked at the video, the person was just like slowly chipping away at his health whenever he could. And then it like got to the scripted parts of the fight. So that's my complaint is that there are these portions in these boss fights that are gimmicks, but they don't have a payoff. Uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. The okay. boss could read your Follow mind. <laughs> Good. So, so they would the kind of boss would just input read? That's hilarious. People love that in Souls games when the boss's input read when you're about to heal and they fucking attack you. Shut up. But do they tell you that? If they don't tell you that, then that's garbage. Yeah, no, that's fucking garbage. This is a hybrid lace ramjet engine I designed. It's like those are well, mechanics are that you think of in a boardroom and you think are so clever and smart, but that is okay. so infuriating for Thanks, the player. So. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Kids are going to love this. And then you gotta wait for some no lifers to fucking post about it on the Why internet before you can like understand email. what to do. Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ha! Huh. Portable gaming device, Sony no doesn't make those that. anymore. Ignition! I don't even know who that kid is. <laughs> I have not been paying attention. Weeb. Fucking weeb loser. <gasps> Love it. Shh. 
Shaba Zadabad Air Base, Pakistan. Why did the ship explode? So many lens flares in this game. Well, anything? Nothing. You sure we got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. So dramatic. Why doesn't he use like ninja jump? Oh, my mini map's doing that thing again. Booyah! It doesn't need to, cause I'm fucking handing out three piece combos like nothing, bitch. Ba bam! Twister! Two piece! Hua! Here's your gravy, biatch! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah who ordered the spicy combo right here baby <laughs> see this part of the game is fun just hack and slashing tools like nothing and I think again it's just the game dev trying to be creative they are very creative you Kojima and um, Konami at the time were very forward thinking when it came to like outside the box thinking when it comes to games. And you definitely can tell that when they make a game like fucking Death Strand. But I think that's to a fault. Like in some places it's very hit or miss. So I think this game, the bosses should have just all been about um, like very big, like exaggerated moments and it should have just been like still simplified. Oh, who's fucking shooting the rocks at me, dude? Who wants a zinger combo, bitch? You're making me hungry for KFC now. I guess I'm doing that to myself. See, I love this part where, like, the game's just letting me hack these dudes up. Like, I hate to say it, but, like, the game should have been more, like, the, the boss fights especially, should have been more about, like, huge, ridiculous moments where there's, like, button prompt and just really fun moments where you're like, that is so ridiculous, but I love it. I didn't even feel like Devil May Cry was like that when I played the fifth one. Get off. Like imagine, okay, let's talk about that boss with the, with the exploding shield, okay? So imagine if the fight with him was all about like him turtling behind his shield and then you had to like do the ninja run slide and then it like knocks him back so the shield opens and then 
you do an attack and then there's a button prompt for you to like shove your sword right into him. Like they could have just made it like simplified and just like way more gratifying, but I don't know. I feel like they just had like cool ideas, but they don't always land. That's just my perception. You know what, let's try some stealth. Nah, skill issue. <laughs> oh, what? I was in a barrel, dude. We're gonna jab the rest of these dudes. Like, these games need to play into their strengths more, and their strengths are, it's fun, stupid fun. It's just stupid fun. Like, this game is not serious. It does not, like, yeah, I'm sure there's people out there who can really take advantage of the mechanics of the game and really do some fancy stuff. And... I don't know, can have, like, some really impressive combat in the way that, I don't know, they just like, they know how to chain combos together. Yes, I'm sure that there's people that can do that. But in general, this game's gameplay does not take a lot of skill. It does not take like, I don't know, like an incredible amount of control over the controls. Like people who try to tell me to overcomplicate it, like that's not the way. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going because my mini-map doesn't work. Like this game is 100% you mash the buttons. You mash the buttons and you make sure that you... And you make sure that you uh, like push the directional button at the right time. Sometimes. But it's mostly just like, I'm mashing square right now. That's literally all it is. Yeah. At least their fan base is not like that. I 100% agree. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Head to the control tower. like those are parries like you're literally just you hit the attack button with the with the directional button at just the right time exploit i'm just hitting him in the air and he's still alive love it Yeah, 30 piece combo, no close law. Okay, for those of you who know what KFC is and go there from time to time, when they offer you a salad, which one do you get? Do you get the potato salad, do you get the macaroni, or do you get the coleslaw?
I used to always think their potato salad was disgusting. I still can't get over the boots. Oh shit, there's a transformer under the fucking ground. It's a mecha spider. Jack. Just a little too late. Just a rich As dude? Usual. Smoking I'm a big strong. cigar? Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. Saucy from all of that chipotle <laughs> sauce. Idiot. Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Ryder, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. <laughs> Look at all those chrome tabs. A story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. Yeah, I love this. Like they like um, they're trying to get all political and trying to make you think like, ooh, but it's ridiculous. But nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They the memes. Isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Okay, get to the Even part where we fight. Especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots. Yeah. Seed. Bullshit. We We're not going to subscribe to any of that materialism. Fuck any garbage. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Yeah. American man, woman, and child. America! That'd be so fucking sick if that song busted in. We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. Yeah. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. <laughs> All those workers spending Isn't that money funny how this is like kind of relevant me, now? <laughs> a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Yeah. Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. Of course, that would have to include you. 
wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. Oh yeah. Let's fight the big boss man in the suit. <laughs> this big boss dude represents the casual dad uh, dad gamer that like works 60 hours a week and comes home and casually plays these games but has all of the best gear because he's got the most money love it Stop, Metal Gear. Rub on the back. Fuck yeah. Oh, I let that one hit me. I don't know what's happening. This is way more fun. Because it's more just like block, block, block. Then the enemy goes into an open state, which you then take advantage of. See, it's in an open state. Okay, so now it's gonna go back to we just parry its attacks. Oh, or no, we just we fight these dudes. See, and then it, it kills its own dudes. Alright. Okay, now we go back to blocking. Get a couple of hits when you can. Block. 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 Okay, it's gonna do some more slam down attacks. Block. 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 Oh, I missed that one. Block. Okay, get some hits off. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, he needs the family. He needs the 10 piece bucket. Okay, and then now we fight this leg. And we just gotta keep doing that, and then it'll go into a dazed state. See, then we go, then we do this. Fuck yeah! See, this I can get along with. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah! Slam on the Y button! Or the triangle! Shut up, we lift him out of there? That's hilarious. See, this is ridiculous, and I love it. Yeah, shove him the other way. Fuck yeah, please tell me we use that as a weapon. <laughs> yes. Oh, I failed. <laughs> yeah! This this was my biggest skill issue in this game was trying to overcomplicate it. It's literally mash the buttons and then wait for the boss to go into the state where it wants you to go into. I thought I was gonna like switch buttons, but it's just why. Yeah! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> You're just using the big ass sword. Awesome. C rank. I can't get out of that C rank, dude. Please tell me we fight the big Sudo boss. <laughs> Slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Shut up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. Does he go Super Saiyan on us? Look how shredded he is. Let's 
go! The hell are you thinking? Ah! Playing college ball, you know. <laughs> That's a pushy Ivy League school. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the movie Gladiator. Not the 2000 Russell Crowe Gladiator, but the 1991 Gladiator with Cuba Gooding Jr. Try University of Texas. Could have gone pro if I hadn't joined the Navy. University of Texas. This game is fucking ridiculous. With my bare hands. It just shows you what Japan thinks of the United Don't States, and it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. What awesome. I'm you? loving every second of this. <laughs> Why don't you stick around and find out? Yeah, fuck around and find out. I could crush you with just one thing. <laughs> Dude, this is so hilarious. Guess you jump that. See, that's literally all you're supposed to do. Like, there's no, nice, like, nice. there's no, like, secret mechanic. You try to dodge his hits, and then you slowly chip away at his damage until the, strip, the scripted moments come in, which I'm okay with. Those veins. Politician. Typical Make politician. Promises, but all talk. What? Jumpstart the economy. What a load of bullshit. <laughs> all you care about is lining your own pockets. This is so relevant to the conversation that we were having earlier. <laughs> This is us beating the shit out of Naughty Dog's president. You're just another maggot crawling in the pot. You wanted to tell a story. You wanted to retell a story to reimagine it. What a load of bullshit! You were just trying to line your own pockets. You release a fucking game with a shitty PC port knowingly, cause you're greedy. Dream. Yeah, to make I more shows on HBO. <laughs> every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! They could totally just solve this by kissing. <laughs> Where every man is free to think, to act. <laughs> Fuck all these lunatic lawyers! Oh, the dialogue is just. Chef's kiss. This kind of reminds me of a certain someone who may or may not have been in an Eastern European jail for the last few months who just recently got released. There's no saving it. 
We need Fuck the Matrix. The roots. <laughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Evolve, but unchained. The weak will be purged, and the strongest will thrive. Okay, this monologue's gone on a little to bit too long. They'll make America great again. Yeah. Wow. Is that where it came from? This game came out in 2013, dude. I'm using war as a business. Make America Great to. Again didn't come out till like 2015, 2016. So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe. Not for money, not for oil. Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars. And you won't be cancelled. <laughs> and there's only two body types. <laughs> Holy shit, this is still relevant today. Hilarious. This game was so forward thinking. I love how they couldn't afford to make a new cigar asset. They had to use the same one that was already slightly burnt down. Love it. Cut How corners wherever you can. <laughs> well, How the hell did you get? I don't write my own speeches. Immersion broken, yeah. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? <laughs> Are you escaping I'll the Matrix, Jack? <laughs> wars, Jack? I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're insane. Shit insane! I knew it! Fuck off. <laughs> Look at that pose, dude. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the wheat, right? What do you know about the weak? Dude, how long has this monologue been going on for? Been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive. Through sheer force of Dude, will, just make the moves. HBO show. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. Oh, no sword? We gotta fight with our hands. Oh, I forgot the AoE. Oh no! I feel like maybe you're supposed to lose. Them after a 10 hour workday and I'll play a game, you load up the game, spend 20 minutes long of a cutscene, you love it. You ain't a game where you're sitting there holding the controller, just watch Netflix, dudes. I agree! 
Yeah, you were supposed to fucking get hit. Yeah! See, that did nothing to him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. More right into a cutscene. Why won't you die? <laughs> Nano machine, son. They harden in response to physical trauma. Why won't this cutscene die? Exactly. Can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Exactly. Like, Kojima should just make films or TV series. Oh yeah, that sword. <laughs> I am not a piece of shit. Yeah, how is Raiden not dead? <laughs> Here we go. Well, begin playback. <laughs> Two years I've been working towards this. And on the last day, Blondie has me doubting the whole thing. We'll leave it up to fate then, shall we, Wolfie? A duel to the death. May the best man win. Family. Sam. I cut him down, and that's that. Back to a regularly scheduled international incident. <sighs> but if he beeps me, if I die here, the lock on my blade will disable after a couple hours. What happens after that is up to you, Wolfie. <laughs> Even dead, that guy's a pain in my ass. He worked for you. So... You think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. He you underestimates how powerful the sword is. Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good point. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. Oh shit. He's breaking apart from his programming. You AI has gotten loose. Oh. 
I said my sword was they want to be paid justice. for their time. Complete garbage. Not used in anger. Not used for vengeance. But now, now I'm not so sure. See, what's funny about and this is that people this praise Kojima for being like sword. such a genius. But the dialogue and things that he writes are like that of a 14-year-old boy. But it's just, it appears to be so Come much on. more okay. deep when it comes from him. When it really is Let's not. Dance. Hey, I'm not knocking it. It's funny, hilarious shit. See, we dodge all that shit. <laughs> I love this dialogue. Don't you fuck with me. Yeah. Are we gonna do that again? Oh, we need our weapon. Am I supposed to interrupt that? <laughs> oh god.
Yeah, let's give him that fucking big crunch combo. There we go. <laughs> I love that the boss name is Senator. Like it changes the button each time. I was expecting them to press square. And then it switched it up on me. Yeah, last time I thought he was building up a big AoE and I didn't want to attack him. Alright, here we go. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. What? I used my... There we go. <laughs> Crush him. Four piece combo with macaroni. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution. As an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Good. But at least... I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let me. I'll never be like you. In the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. It's a big heart.
<laughs> Deep inside, we're kindred spirits. You. And I. So dumb. <laughs> Deep inside, you know. We're so much alike. Oh yeah, the sun shining on him. B class. Hey, that's better than C. Nice. Official pet ride for your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil Man, and military... Man, hearing the word Pakistan that many times just, uh... Is that the same pizza? For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden. There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care. But Great. This is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now. The rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. So dumb. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets. Or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? <No. laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> An imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful seriously, like, he, seriously. <laughs> it's been so evident for so long that like, he needs to just make shows or movies. Recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny. It's Georgie. Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. You same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Can't just say that. Where did that come from? That's sexual harassment. Alert. Alert. Release and <laughs> That's so dumb. Crazy world, nah? <laughs> that a book could knock out a robot machine that was designed to kill. rescued me too you know saved my life i owe him everything those don't look like standard eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper that looks Jack like that looks like a uh, poster paper or legal paper i know all about his past 
He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... ...is a hero. Great. <laughs> Where are the credits? All right, that's the, that's the end. Hilarious. Um, yeah, this game is hilarious. It's awesome. It's fun. It's so ridiculous. This story is just hilarious tropes. Um, like government is bad. Government's always just being greedy corporations, blah, 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 blah. You're the hero. You don't stand for injustice. Uh, you want like things done right. You don't want people taking advantage of the lower class or kids, that kind of thing. Hilarious. The story is so it's written like like a 14 year old would write an action story like do things that are good for the planet blah 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 but it serves its purpose it's ridiculous it's fun it's what we want over the top the only thing i feel like that was a fault on my end was like trying to make the game more complicated than it is it's hack and slash it's mash the attack button um, there is no like secret hidden mechanic to making things like more OP. It's literally just slash until the game hits the scripted part of the fight and then you move on from there. Um, tons of fun. Absolutely would recommend. Uh, I know I had a good time playing this game. I hope you did too. Um, yeah. Thank you for playing Metal Gear Rising with me. Great game. Love it. And Last of Us Part 1 is still a fucking cash grab. Garbage. Yeah, see, like, the uh, Hideo Kojima was not the main director of this game. He was just, like, the supervisor. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be it for me, everybody. Hope you have a good one. Uh, cheers. We'll see you soon. Meow.